I strongly believe that prompt passage of the U.S. Columbia Free Trade Agreement is in the national interest of the United States. Um, I believe it's in our economic interest as well, but let me talk very briefly about why I believe that to be the case. First of all, Colombia has been, for many years, one of the staunchest allies of the United States in Latin America, particularly in the modern uh, period where we don't have a lot of friends in Latin America necessarily. Uh, those friends that we do have, uh, we really need to find ways to nurture that relationship, build the relationship, and ensure that that friendship is an enduring one and frankly has benefit for both parties, not just one. President Uribe has done a marvelous job in reforming Colombia's economy, reforming Colombia's politics, and reforming Colombia's security situation so that the hopefulness that exists in Colombia is now higher and deeper than it's been in generations. The FARC is on the run, the economy is booming, uh, investment is expanding, and the population is finding itself in a better way to conduct its daily affairs than it has been able to do in many, many years. Murder rate is way down. Kidnapping rate is way down. The number of um, violent uh, acts against union leaders, school teachers, community leaders is way down, and that's directly attributed to the government of President Uribe. Is everything perfect in Colombia? No. There is nothing, there is no country on earth uh, that can meet the standard of perfection. But the progress, the intent, and the shown uh, ability of this government to deliver, uh, I think, is unquestioned. Uh, having said that, a trade agreement has to also be in the interest of the United States economically. And economically it is because Colombia's exports already come to the United States virtually duty-free, whereas U.S. exports to Colombia uh, face high tariffs. And so it's fundamentally a one-way relationship. The trade agreement would not open the United States market to Colombian goods because our market is already open to Colombian goods. What it would do would be to open Colombia's market to the United States. And this is an issue that would actually create jobs in the United States. So people who say that the free trade agreement with Colombia is somehow against U.S. national interests, against U.S. workers, against the United States, don't understand what the agreement would actually do. So it is important to be able to move this forward. One final point, uh, this is a political season in the United States and we understand politics and there are some very important political issues that have to be dealt with that the Columbia Trade Agreement has become part of. And so as the decisions are being made to go forward with the trade agreement, uh, those issues have to be taken into account. For example, the ability of U.S. workers to compete more uh, generally, and this is issues like health care and education and trade adjustment assistance and all these things. Those issues need to be addressed. They need to be taken care of on a bipartisan basis, but they don't need to be obstacles to fundamentally advancing U.S. strategic security interests in the hemisphere and U.S. economic interests as well. I believe this path forward, and I believe that it has to be found in the near time frame.